The Backdraft Phoenix is the most affordable HPA engine on the market, as I've said many times before. It was released about a year and a half ago after rigorous beta testing, and I'm not one to leave well enough alone, so even after release, I took your guys' input and made improvements. So we began selling the Batch 2 Phoenix, which retained the core functionality and mechanism of the Phoenix Batch 1, but added more tuning capabilities and improved the user interface of the fire control unit. If you were brave enough to give the little guy a chance, you don't deserve to be left behind. Today, I'm proud to announce that we are finally releasing the Batch 2 Upgrade Kit. So now, if you want to add these new features to your Backdraft Phoenix, you can. Uh, I haven't figured out the label yet. I still need to design it, but I'll, I'll get that done before, before these are up on the store. First, we're going to have the instruction card, which shows how to use your FCU, how to maintain your engine, and gives you instructions for tuning everything. We're going to get the FCU and the solenoid. If you took this as an opportunity to buy any other accessories, uh, those will also be in your kit. Alternatively, you can buy a version of the kit which just has the new FCU and instructions. And with this kit, you don't even have to disassemble your gun. Just unplug the old fire control unit and plug the new one in. If you need any additional information on how to use your fire control unit, you can check out last week's video. I want to be clear that the new solenoid does have more adjustability and, in my opinion, a better design, with the wires coming off the back and an adjustable throw length. For most people, I would recommend just buying the FCU kit. It is technically possible to adjust the throw length a little bit on your original Phoenix by disassembling this rear coil and then using pliers to grip onto this nut here. You can actually tighten and loosen this just ever so slightly and as long as you don't cause a leak, uh, there is a little bit of wiggle room in your throw length. It's not as convenient as the new design, but if you absolutely have to adjust your throw, that's how you can do it. In order to perform the swap, you're first going to need to disassemble your HPA engine just like that. Set these parts aside for later, and this is going to be set aside permanently. This is also a great opportunity to do any lubrication on your nozzle, uh, or clean anything out if you need to, which you probably don't. And then you take your new solenoid and these parts, reinstall them, and thread them together. Everything should still move easily back and forth, uh, and the nozzle should slightly retract after pulling it all the way out. And that's all you have to do for the engine. For the FCU, you have to open this up and just take the old one off of the wire harness and put the new one on. At this point, you're going to want to power on your fire control unit and turn the dwell down to 5 milliseconds. And I got it right. And then we connect the engine and make sure everything works. Why you know what? Oh, 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 After having a minor panic attack, I realized that the engine I was testing didn't have a solenoid plunger, so, um, that's my fault. Even I don't know what I'm doing sometimes. So we're gonna resume that test uh, with one that does. With the dwell set to five milliseconds, we're gonna pull the trigger and just make sure that everything still is making noise. Since it is, we can connect the air supply and continue the test. If you have access to an air compressor, but you don't have a way to fill your air tank, I recommend getting this adapter. It lets you connect your air line directly to the compressor and gives you essentially unlimited air for all of your bench testing. Connect your air supply. Your engine might stop working. That's okay, because we still have to adjust the throw screw. The throw adjustment screw controls how much your solenoid actually opens. If it opens too little, your engine won't function, and if it opens too much, uh, it will lose some efficiency. So we're gonna tighten it and pull the trigger as we go. I'm just, it, I find it easy to hold the engine and the trigger board uh, while turning. and you want to go until the engine starts to sound just slightly weaker. You hear that it, sound, it sounds a little different now? I went a little too far. You get to the point where the sound profile just starts to barely change.
and that's usually a good sweet spot. This is the best method that I've found in order to consistently find it. Don't tighten it too much because if you do, uh, it could clamp everything shut and your engine won't open or work at all. I'll show what that's like. See, now, now it's just not doing anything. And after finding that sweet spot at five milliseconds, you can turn your dwell up uh, to add a little more reliability to your engine. I go usually one or two milliseconds more, and that'll make a super reliable Phoenix for you to use on the battlefield. I recommend that your battery is fully charged for this step, and one thing I do not recommend is the Titan batteries. This is one that we took the heat shrink off of, and as you can see, it says 300 milliamp hours but they advertise 350, so someone's fibbing. These LiPos provide more power at about half the price. I got this in a two-pack for the same cost as one Titan battery. Now, where have I heard that before? Anyway, thank you guys for the support. If you want to buy the update kit, you can pick it up on my website, and make sure to use this coupon code for a little bit of a discount. If you've decided you want to pick up an engine for yourself, use this coupon code, because everyone likes saving money, and for a limited time, you can. Also, tell your friends about the Phoenix, and I've decided to start selling a bundle pack on my website, so if you and three other guys want to get into HPA, or you have four airsoft guns you want to upgrade, there are even bigger discounts available, so again, check it out. And these are the absolute chads who won last video's giveaway. Reach out to me in the Discord to claim your prize, and we're giving away another engine in this video, so comment below and share it if you want to enter. Again, thank you all for the support, have a good day, later.